Now we will connect the servos of the camera mount to the top shield on the Arduino. I'm really not sure if this board is exactly shield but it's an extension to the uh, motor shield below it uh, for servo control. So it has a number of uh, connection points here where you can connect different servos. I will connect the y-axis servo for the camera, the tilt servo, to the first connection point. And the x-axis or pan to the second one. The connection, the ground is uh, this brown cable and the ground is right here to the outside of the board. So it goes ground, power and then signal, the orange cable. Both servos will be connected the same way with the brown wire to the outside of the shield. And uh, this is all in order for us to control the pan and tilt of the camera. Now we can connect the servos from the manipulator to the servo control board. Since the servo cables are sh relatively short and when the manipulator is extended they will not be able to reach whatsoever to the control board. The set includes extenders for them. So we will we'll untight the extender cables. Take one of them and we'll start with the first, first manipulator which controls the opening and the closing of the hand. We'll connect it in such a way that the black wire corresponds to the brown wire here. The red wire is naturally center and the orange wire uh, is associated and connected to the white wire on this end. Once done this, we'll connect it next to the pan and tilt servo connectors on the servo control board. And again we'll connect it with the black wire or ground on the outside of the servo control board, like this. We'll move to the next servo, which is the hand rotation servo. Again connect exactly the same way the extension wire, so brown is connected to black and orange to white and we'll connect on this end to the next connection point again with the black on the outside which is ground. Continue with the next servo again using the extender and connecting it again with ground on the outside and making sure that brown is connected to black and orange to white. The last servo the wire is long enough to directly plug it so we'll plug it with the brown on the outside again that's ground 
and the orange on the inside, which is the signal. And we have all of the several wires connected. Now, what is recommended to do is to tighten some of those wires with pigtails. You can use those holes here or you can directly wrap like this with the pigtail. I will actually show you with one pigtail. So I will use this small pigtail here. I will grab the wires like this, wrap it around and secure them in place. Once this is done I can cut the extra part of the pigtail. This makes sure that while the servo is operating the wires will not get on the way and they will stay securely on the side. I advise you not to tighten too much the pigtail from the beginning to make sure that you have the full freedom necessary to operate the robot. Once when you're happy with all of this you can tighten properly the pigtails and cut the extra parts. I will go ahead and add a second pigtail right here and that should be pretty much enough to keep everything nice and clean. Make sure we have all the freedom we need. And once we are we're happy with this, tighten the pigtail. We seem to have enough freedom. And again, if necessary, you can add some more pigtails to keep all the wires nice in place.